federal and state tax reporting streamlines your tax reporting process. This task uses a seamless integration with the Atrix Tax Reporting Service that allows you to print signature-ready federal and state tax forms using plain paper or to electronically file those forms. Your guaranteed form compliance, whether it's federal forms such as the 941 and W-2, state forms such as the DE-6 or NYS-45, and there are forms for all 50 states. In fact, there's over 250 approved form sets which boil down to over 400 forms, and all of these forms are automatically populated with your payroll data. It's very easy to use. There's a quick installation. You can quickly activate it, and updates are very easy as well. If an edit needs to be made of an actual report or form, you can do that while on the screen, and you also have the ability to access the archives for historical filing and copies. It's included in the payroll module on the period and menu under federal and state tax reporting. When forms are electronically filed, a fee is charged by Atrix. As far as installation, it's installed from the Sage 100 workstation installation, and you'll select to install federal and state tax reporting. It needs to be installed on each individual Sage 100 workstation that would process the forms or reports. Please note, it's not a server application and, as stated previously, must be installed on the workstation. And an internet connection is required to accomplish e-filing. You easily can activate it and you'll be prompted as soon as you access the federal and state tax reporting task. As you can see here, activation is verified every six months which allows access in a normal mode. And you can see here, if you do not have a business care plan, you can actually access a demonstration mode. If federal and state tax reporting is not activated, demo do not file or expire do not file will be printed on all documents. As far as updating the program, you will be alerted at least once every quarter to update forms. About 20% of tax forms change every quarter. There will be mandatory quarterly updates in March, June, September, and December. You can expect the annual tax forms for the current year, such as W-2s and 940s, to be in the December update. All reports are automatically update with on-screen selections. You will be alerted when there is a mandatory update that you need to install. Program fixes and enhancements are delivered through the automatic process as well. And you would see something like this. So a forms update is required to make sure you have the latest form. At this point, if you are connected to the internet, you can select an automatic update to update your forms automatically. You can download the forms by selecting the download update, and then you can update with any computer from an internet connection. You can even continue the processing without the required update. However, forms will be marked as expired and cannot be filed, or you can cancel out of the routine. Now recall that all these dates are subject to change as far as the updates. So to create my forms, I'll go into the period and menu, federal and state tax reporting. You'll notice that you'll need to select your form type. So let's say that I wanna look at a particular state. You'll see my choices are federal, state, or existing reports that I have already created. When I choose state, I'll select the appropriate state that I wanna process and then that will show me a lookup for the appropriate forms for that state. And I can go ahead and proceed with that state information. If I go back and let's look at the federal, now when I look up, I'm looking at the available federal forms. Now information that populates this screen is coming from my company maintenance as well as the quarter that I'm in and you can do selections for various employees or sorts. I'll go ahead at this point now and proceed. And since I'm in a demo mode, I'm gonna continue with the expired forms. The first thing I'll see will be to verify my federal employer identification number. If this isn't correct, you'll need to go back into company maintenance and fix it. Then I'll see my company information, 
and in addition here I can put contact information or anything that might be missing coming from company maintenance. And you can see if I have a field that has not been populated as required, I'll get a message from the system. The next thing is to identify who you are. And this is the tax preparer type. So are you filing for your company or are you a tax preparer? Also, you'll notice that if you have 10 or more companies, you can sign up for batch e-filing. And there's a website link for that. The state and local tax items, you can see at this point it's looking to make sure that I've got proper formatting for my tax forms. And I could go ahead and fix this if needed. And if there is an issue, you can see we're going to get a message. So I'll need to go back and fix that. Or I can continue on this screen and make that change. And continue to fix the account numbers that are incorrectly formatted. You may have additional local specific issues to address. If you have multiple companies that use the same federal ID, you'll want to address this multiple payroll data files window. And then your reports will load. This message guides you how to process a report. In the first step, you review and edit the report. You must fill out the red fields and you can edit the blue fields. Remember, information or numbers you change here are not written back into SAGE 100. The My Copy step allows you to print a copy of the report for your records. And the third step is to print or e-file your report. And you'll notice along the top that you, you're in different processes. Review Edit, My Copy, Federal Copy, and you can see that it says the red fields must be filled before continuing. You can go to the various pages, verify this appropriate information. Again, we're in a demo mode. For you, this would be populating from your SAGE 100 data. And then you'll be able to print and save the information.